This is Madeline Burnett. She is currently navigating her life with Tourette's syndrome. I sat down with Madeline and her mother to talk about her experience and becoming an advocate. Personally, I struggle with a bit of like anxiety and depression, but that's actually pretty common in the Tourette and Tic Disorder community. Madeline Burnett tells me she loves to ride horses and hang out with friends. She also says a lot changed since she found out she has Tourette's syndrome. I had a sudden onset back in October of 2022 where I was sitting at a football game and, you know, it felt like I just had like this shiver in my back, but, you know, I was like, oh, I'm cold. But when I wasn't cold, the shiver continued and it continued and over the next few days, it looked and evolved into something that kind of uh, resembled a seizure. Dr. David Isaac with Vanderbilt says Tourette syndrome is a neurodevelopment disorder. It originates from some differences in the brain and, the, and how the brain functions. Um, it starts in childhood and we make the diagnosis clinically. Burnett says her diagnosis brought her a sense of comfort. It definitely was like, okay, this isn't just like my body just I'm not dying. You know, it's something that this is this is normal. A lot of people suffer from this. Madeline's mother, Erin Burnett, recalls the moment she first noticed her daughter's tics. I remember sitting behind her um, in, we were actually in church, and seeing kind of that familiar movement and having the thought, Madeline is ticking. Madeline says after she found out about her disorder, she left school. A lot of the challenges I've been faced with is just constant laughing and just people not understanding just because they've seen videos online of people faking Tourette and that's their perception of it. Madeline says her perspective began to change when she decided to advocate for Tourette syndrome. I got to go to Capitol Hill and did some training, a few days of training where I got to meet with other people with Tourette syndrome and other tic disorders. Erin says she has a message for those who may need support. What would I wish someone had told me? And we had talked about not feeling alone. Um, that would probably be the biggest message. You're not alone. And, um, and ask for help. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Jacqueline Davis, News Channel 9. We appreciate you choosing News Channel 9 as your source for local news. For updates on this story and other breaking news events, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.